Hi, my dear friends. In the last two episodes, I gave examples of um, what it means to be kind to others. In this section of my episodes on personality building, I'm spending a lot of my time on what it means to be building your own personal brand. I reiterate that you want to go for a particular brand of a product because of uh, certain traits associated with that company which makes that product. For example, when you want to go for a television set, you go to a particular company. When you want to buy a cell phone, you go to a particular company. That's because the company has spent a lot of time and resources in building a brand. You are also a product and you have a market value. Your time has a commercial value. Your time has an emotional value. So just like a company is promoting its brand, you are also promoting yourself. A company maintains its credibility by consistently following certain practices. The company not only follows certain practices, it also informs the customers what the company stands for. What are the values? What are the basic fundamental principles on which the business is run? The same thing applies to you. It is not a question of helping a person once. It is a question of your trait, your habit, your character, your uniqueness of helping others. I am sure you will recall some people's name the moment I mention a trait. For example, when I say honesty, I am sure you will be able to recall some person known to you who represents this honesty. When I say uh, the habit of helping somebody, I am sure you will be able to recall somebody known to you. In fact, when you repeatedly do a particular act again and again, it becomes um, a habit and you are driven by certain values. Otherwise, you cannot be consistent. And when you do that, those around you may take you as a role model. In my life, I follow certain principles and values. Some of them I inherited from my parents who were living models for certain values. For example, when it comes to hard work, I recall how my father used to work. When it comes to making a difference in others' life, I take it from my mother. In my school days, I recall a mathematics teacher who is known for helping others. I remember when I was around the 6th or 7th standard, he used to be our role model. He was a very simple person. He was so simple that he will not even wear a chapel. And he used to say that I live just opposite to the school. I don't think I need a chapel. I'm talking about in the 1960s where the roads were much cleaner than what it is today. And repeatedly we used to recommend to him to wear a chapel which he refused. In fact, I remember in one of the last day of the school, you know, those days we used to celebrate the last day of the school. We used to pull some money and give some sweet packets to friends and the teachers and all that. One year we decided to uh, buy a chapel to him and give it to him. But then he refused. He said he is not interested. And so we shelved the idea of buying a shoes for him. During the summer holidays, uh, we friends went to his house, which we used to do once in a way. And we saw a new pair of chapel kept in a glass almira. We were curious to know whose chapel was this. Because I know that uh, our math teacher lived with his wife and they did not have any issues. And there was no other member of the family who could vary a size of uh, the chapel which was displayed. Uh, we asked him, sir, is it your chapel? He said, yes. Then we said, sir, why is that you are not wearing chapel? And even when we wanted to donate a chapel to you, he refused. We asked him, how is that he is having a chapel in the house? For which he gave a small little story. He said, there used to be a cobbler at the end of the street who will stitch uh, chapels and give it to some of his friends and uh, customers and collect some money. And our math teacher wanted to help him offering certain money and the cobbler refused. I don't want to take any money from you. If you are interested, I can stitch a shoe for you. After repeatedly trying to give him this money, he decided to reach that money in a different way. He went to the cobbler and ordered for the costliest shoes he can make. And the cobbler made one and gave it to him. He gave the money. He brought the chapel, sealed it and kept it in the showcase 
and he said he purchased the shoe to help the cobbler and not to wear the chapel that is helping others i cannot find a better example of helping others one of my mentors used to give a piece of advice to me he said sridharan every month you help a person and you should be such a person who will not be able to return this help to you at any point of time this is unconditional help without expecting anything in return great idea isn't it see you tomorrow